firewood. And more people go out of firewood, the more business I get, and you know, we, we can comfortably stay in business that way. So tell me about stink bugs. You were saying you, you, you had to deal with them here in the neighborhood before the first time you, you sort of came across one. Well, the first time I came across one was from the uh, an oriental plant that we got at Christmas time. And it was sitting on the plant stand, and a couple days later, I noticed this big thing on it. And I said, My God, it's a stink bug that came out of the plant. And that's the way all bugs are transported from house to house, is by in, in plants that aren't totally clean. So tell me about sort of the issue. Do you get them in your house? Do you, do you notice? What, what did you notice? Uh, like, did they, did they, do they actually sort of well, they're, the name? No, not really. They're they're big and ugly, and uh, people are a little scared of them. But you catch them in the Phoenix, flush them down the toilet, or that, you know, you can get rid of them. And I guess they're saying with the polar vortex, they're thinking like I guess Virginia Tech said they did like about an ex research. They said but they thinking like about 95% of the stink bugs might have been wiped out. I hope so. Tell me about that. I hope so. <laughs> That's what they say. You can't believe everything you hear, but you know, uh, farms in Connecticut are very, very limited to uh, pesticides. And they're very, very safe. And the state really watches over. State of Connecticut does an excellent job with food in this state. And uh, you know, we haven't had to really deal with them because we just raise vegetables. It's more in a fruit issue. Um, corn, I understand that when they bite it, the, the kernels come out all disformed in it, so it's non-saleable. Apples, uh, they come out with it like an apple scar on them. Um, you know, we don't really do fruit here, so. Farms in the area, they sort of sit out, man, I got these bugs over here. Have you heard from anybody? Well, everyone has, has bugs. They get transported from place to place. People bring a plant from another state or from a big chain store and they're totally clean and everyone's uh, scared to death of pesticides today, but when they used pesticides, they came out totally clean. Now they use good bugs to kill bad bugs. The problem is they don't kill all the eggs. So they come out, you know, an egg hatches and then it, you know, turns into major problem for farms. Anything else you can think of adding or want to add, Joe? Uh, I think the white fly and the spider mite are the biggest concerns now. Our basil plant, you know, I don't know where they come from, the white fly. And I put them in the sink and spray them with a little, you know, lukewarm water and down the drain they go and it's good to go for a few more weeks. So. Perfect. Anything you can think of, Nick? No. So tell me about the, when you first saw that around Christmas time for a. a, a